Sweets. Sweet Sadie J coming back at you. Hope everyone's having a wonderful Sunday. I am here at my sister's house and they are at church or somewhere. It's it's after 1226 now, so I don't know where they are. But anyway, I have a small little Dollar Tree haul that I went to three Dollar Trees yesterday in Rocky Mount that I wanted to share with you. I didn't find anything new, anything phenomenal. I was pretty disappointed, but hey, that's how it goes sometimes, you know. I'll probably go home to my small town and find everything, all the new items that I've been looking for. But anyway, I'm going to go grab my cup of coffee and I'll be right Okay, back. my beautiful sweets. I had to change locations because my sisters came in. So they're downstairs getting ready for, to get some grub on. So I came back up here. You might hear echo because like I said before, I'm at my sister's house and there was no pictures on the walls or anything yet. So I just wanted to share this cute little, well, this small little haul. The few little things that I managed to find yesterday. Well, welcome back, all my wonderful subscribers. Thank you guys so very, very much for all the love and support you show my channel. This is to my newbie, Sweet Sadie J TV, and I'm hey, going to jump sweet. right. As always, there's no rhyme or reason. There's no order. I just grab and go, grab and go. Some of the items that I found yesterday I hadn't seen in my local Dollar Trees, and I don't know when. And this is one of them. This is the Good and Clean Disinfectant Wipes. Only it's the lavender scented one. I haven't seen this. I've seen the lemon one in my stores, but I haven't seen the lavender one in, in our stores in a long time. And it says 25% more wipes. They always say that. So they crossed it out where it says 24 wipes, 30 wipes. So, okay. So you see that? I hadn't seen the lavender scented one in a while. Y'all know I love my lavender. Mm, smells really, really good. Okay. Like I said, just hodgepodge of stuff, you guys, because I was really searching hard yesterday to find something phenomenal, something with a wow factor. It didn't happen. <laughs> it just didn't happen. But I did finally find one of these selfie ring lights. And I've told you guys before, I really don't like Dollar Tree electro electrotomoronics, whatever y'all call them. <laughs> I really don't care for them because most of the time when I purchase them, they just never work. And if they work, they only work for a very limited time. But I did go ahead and pull the trigger and get this selfie ring light. I'm going to try it eventually. It says lightweight and portable, rechargeable using micro USB, three light settings, and it is a green bar product. So it looks like this. They had it in different colors. And so... Um, I got the blue one. I thought it was the most attractive one. They had black, they had red, and something else. But I did get the blue one. I will try it later and let you guys know in my Talk Trash video. Y'all know. Mm-hmm. Right. I did finally find the, um, Reach, the Dental Guru, um, fresh capsule toothbrushes. And even though I didn't need this, this looks so good. And, you know, great for traveling. So it says travel case, soft bristle, and tongue cleaner. And it really looks like a really nice, nicely made toothbrush. So I did go ahead and get that. So I am hoping to travel. I am hoping if my stomach issues will subside. I really do want to go to New York with my girlfriend. And I'm not sure if we're going to be able to do it or not because of my Y'all know the stomach issues I've been having. So the next item I found was this label maker and I searched for the labels like everyone else did. And no, I did not find them, but I figured I could buy the labels from Walmart to somewhere like that. So I got the label maker in the red by Jot. And yeah, mm -hmm. I don't really know what else to say about it. <laughs> I did get it, and I'm hoping to find some labels and see how, how well it works. It is a Greenbrier product. Oh, excuse me. And it says, um, yeah, just imported from Greenbrier. They had it in various different colors. I just chose the red. Okay, my so. sweets. The next thing I found was this mobile gaming grip handle. And I have no idea why I bought this. I'll probably just be donating it right over to the church or somebody that... I think can use it. It says works with most touchscreen smartphones 
ergonomic design. And it looks like one of the little joy remote control or joysticks, whatever they call those. It's a phone stand. So, and it says it extends and then it says um, phone stand, if you can see that. So I thought that was kind of cute. I um, haven't seen this in any of my local Dollar Tree. So when I saw it up here in Rocky Mount, I decided to just grab it. I probably will never use it. Like I said, I'll probably donate it. And I got my little Nisi Poo, one of those little um, stop and pop ball fidget toys, push, pop, and squeeze. Y'all seen this before. I have this at home and I play with it all the time. I love it. So I thought my Nisi Poo Carmelita would love it too. So when I get her package ready to send out, she will get this one as well. And we both love purple. So I tried to get as close to the, they didn't have purple, they had pink. So same color as I have. Now I probably will try this. This is body edit. Okay. This is sculpting technique targeted mask with pomegranate and it's for your neck. And you can see it's made in Korea, which is good. And it, they have the little, it looks like this package right here. Okay. And then you could see it right here where they have it on that area. So I'm like, okay, they give you instructions on how to wear it. It says it's for the neck, but it looks like it's on the bottom of the chin or something. But I said, you know what? We never, ever get these masks in our local Dollar Trees. They never come to us. So I just went ahead and pulled the trigger and got one. And I will try this. As long as it's not on my face, I'm okay with it. But we'll see. Okay. We'll see. The dollar, one of the Dollar Trees that I went to yesterday, only one of them had the boxes of the 200 tissues. As you can see, I already opened it because I just put it here in my room when I'm sitting at, when I'm at my sister's house. And of course, I got the lavender one. I just love all that purple. It's just so rich. But yeah, most of the stores did not have um, the 200s. They only had the 128. So I did go ahead and get that. When I'm done with this, this will just stay in my car. So because believe me, I, I, I packed up on those in my house. So the next item I got is, I'm trying to see you guys, sorry, I'm getting texts while I'm on my phone. <laughs> I found the Be Pure Under Eye Jade Rollers, and I've only seen this one floating around. I've seen everybody showing this. Um, I watched Spanglish do a review on this. I love her channel. If you guys don't know who I'm talking about, just type in Spanglish. I think I'm saying Spanglish. English. She does reviews on all the Dollar Tree products and I mean she really gives you a heads up on whether you should buy them or not. So she reviewed this and she loved it. Um, it says under eye J roller used to apply your favorite under cream under eye cream. It says directions starting at the inner corner of the eye. Use the jade roller to gently sweep under the eye. Optional to store in the fridge or freezer for a soothing, cooling application. After each use, rinse thoroughly and air dry. So she used it by itself and then she used some eye cream and she really, really liked it. But I also found it in the pearl, in the pearl tip. So I got both of them because, you know, I've collected all the other Dollar Tree under eye jade rollers. My freezer door is full of them because I like to keep them in the freezer. She did mention that they don't stay cool for a long time once you start using them. So, you know, that might just be a waste of time. I don't know. She put hers in the refrigerator and not the freezer. But still, I thought it was a good deal for $1.25. So I did purchase both of them. So that's that. Then we're going to move on to some food products. Okay, my that sweets. I found. We're going to move right. on to the food. Um, items that I found yesterday that were somewhat interesting. I found this Voss um, Lemon Cucumber. You can barely see it because I don't have my glasses on. It says naturally flavored with other natural flavors, sparkling water. It says no sugar, zero calories. And so I have no idea what's in it. It does have 11 milligrams of sodium, but... It looked refreshing, and as long as it's caffeine-free, I, I don't mind. They had a lot of stuff with caffeine in it that I just, mm, mm I don't need. But this is what it looks like. It's lemon and cucumber. Or does it say, yeah, lemon cucumber. You can see that. 
and it is a 12 fluid ounce and it expires um what is that august 6th of this year i feel really really suspicious when i buy single cans like this i just feel like <clears throat> that the dollar tree is ripping us off because I'm almost certain this came in a either four pack or six pack. <clears throat> Excuse me. And so many stores that I go to, some stores will have it in its, its original form, and then other stores will have all the stuff all busted up, sang, selling it single. So I do get a little suspicious when I go to buy stuff like this, but I did go ahead and pull the trigger and just buy this one just to try it because I love sparkling water. Another item I found, which is strictly really for the pantry, because y'all know, we gotta be smart about it. You know, I trust God and he's provided for me my entire life and I know he will continue to. But at the same time, I don't think there's anything, you know, with being proactive. So when I can find a good buy on a pantry item, I, I go ahead and get it because when you're hungry, you'll eat cardboard. Okay. So we don't want to get to that. <laughs> I know I'm being a little silly here, but I'm serious really. Okay. When you're hungry, you'll eat just about anything. So here we have, um, the Chef Boyardee pasta and butter sauce. Now all the Chef Boyardee products that I've ever eaten, I've never eaten the pasta and butter sauce. So I only got one can and it expires January 29th of 2023. So it is a good pantry item, you know, and this will go longer than January, you know, until after you open. I mean, as long as you don't open, it is a pop top top. So, you know, so I did go ahead and get that. It is the normal size can, 15 ounces. So it looks like that. It looks interesting. It looks like little, little honeycombs, doesn't it? <laughs> so I got that and... I haven't had potato chips in months because y'all know my stomach and I'm not really a Pringle type of person, but these remind me of Pringles. I saw these on um, Brown Eyes on a Budget in her walkthrough and this was a super stack original potato chips. It's net weight 5.2 ounces. It expires December 12, 2022 and it looks like this. So I said, well, you know, if I can't eat them, I'll just pass them along to my um, neighbor across the hall. Her grandkids will come over and grab these. So I got those. It's just original flavor. And it reminds me of Pringles, but it's a super stack potato crisp. So I don't know what all that is, but I'm not really, like I said, a Pringles type of girl. So, okay. The next item I found was something I've never seen before or can't remember if I've ever seen them because, yeah. I'm used to the other one that the Dollar Tree carries, but I found this Aroma Cafe. It's a net weight of one, six ounces. It's called Premium Espresso Coffee, and it's 100% pure coffee. And I was trying to smell the coffee. Y'all ever smell espresso through the package? Oh, but I can't smell anything, y'all. I was so disappointed. But it looks like this. And I love a good espresso coffee every now and then, you know. I was like, oh my God, this doesn't expire until June 16th of 2024. And that's just the best buy date. So you know this will last a while. So I got that. I've never seen this in our stores before or maybe years ago. I don't know. I can't remember. But yeah, that was different okay, for me. We're coming up to the, almost to the end, you guys. I haven't seen Martha White um, products in our Dollar Trees in a few minutes, okay? Usually over the holidays, you'll see a lot of Martha's White cornbread mix and stuff in the Dollar Tree, but I found this one package of Martha's, Martha White chocolate chip muffin mix, just add milk. And the expiration date on this is very close. So I saw it in a store. Yeah, it's September 22nd, 2022. So this is going right to my younger sister. She loves stuff like this. I just went ahead and grabbed it while it was still in code. And it looks like this. You see Martha White? I haven't seen this in so long. And it just says add milk. So she'll love something like this. I don't like stuff like that, but she does. And then the next two items I found, I was so excited because I kept waiting for my store to get them. And they never did. I never did find them in any of my local stores. 
And when I worked at Cracker Barrel, I bought the bigger bag all the time. I absolutely love this popcorn. But y'all, I was so disappointed. This did not taste like the same popcorn that I got from Cracker Barrel, even though the bag looks exactly the same. They expire November 6th of this year, 2022. It looks like this. This is the HERS Fire Roasted Sweet Corn Popcorn. Man, when I bought this popcorn at Cracker Barrel, I absolutely loved it. But as you can see, I opened it, but it smells good. And I did get two bags of it, but I was disappointed, y'all. It just did not taste the same way. It says it's gluten-free. It's a one point one and a half ounce bag. And the bag looks exactly the same as the bigger bag that I bought at Cracker Barrel. But yeah, it just, to me, it didn't taste the same. So maybe the second bag will taste a little bit better. Or maybe my taste buds will be a little bit different today. I don't know. But yeah, I'm glad I only got two because I wasn't even sure if I could eat it or not. Okay. This is a repurchase. I'm kind of wishing I had it bought more because my tear tray is almost empty. But y'all seen them before. A lot of people are buying these <laughs> because of my... um my saying how good these are and they are they are absolutely delicious these are the werther's original chocolate covered caramels soft and creamy caramels wrapped in milk chocolate oh they are just divine like i told you before you only get about six or seven pieces in each bag bag is big but that's about all you get but they are delicious absolutely delicious and the expiration date on these are the same as all of them January 31st, 2023. All of them say the same thing. And like I warned you before, some of the bags have been um, not good. So you got to watch it. I mean, I don't know how we're supposed to watch it. But yeah, I did get one bag that was not good. Okay. Last thing is what you saw in the thumbnail. And you guys, oh my God. I used to eat these back in the day. And I would eat them dry, like a bag of potato chips. And I know this is not really a good buy for $1.25, but I had to get it because it was so nostalgic to me. I was just like, look at these cute little bags of Captain Crunch. Now, I see the Cheerios and, you know, all the other ones all the time, but they don't, they don't, they don't move me like these did, okay? But this is the, what is it, four, I think it says four ounce bag, the Captain Crunch. Who needs milk? You can sit there and just eat these just like this. They are so good, y'all. Look at those. And they have the little games on the back, you know, so cute. I had to get them. This one says January 22nd of 2023. Again, that's just the sell-by date. These, you know, if you keep them fresh, it's a resealable bag. And if you don't like that, you could put it in another bag just to keep it fresh. Or you could put it in a jar or something. But I also found the oops all berries now this one is not one that i've ever tried but it was captain crunch so i was like how bad can it be it looks good it says crunchitize me captain that's what they both say <laughs> crunch crunchitize me captain and they look like this and i just had to get them because they were so cute just the bags alone y'all know packaging is everything right they are so cute and that's how the cereal look and again, this is something that you can nosh on while you're watching a movie. This one is January 24, 2023, and January 22nd, 2023. So that's my thumbnail for today, and that is the end of my video. I hope you guys enjoyed watching. Love, peace, and happiness. Sweet Sadie J, coming back at you. Remember, guys, be kind to each other. The world is big enough for us all. I love you all so very much. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And happy 4th of July. Bye, guys.